everybody, 7007 here, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit more of my gaming collection. Today I'm going to show you my Super Nintendo collection, and uh, it's, it's again, it's a pretty small collection, but I have some pretty solid titles, and uh, it's growing. I've gotten quite a few in the past couple weeks, so uh, right now I only have 20 Super Nintendo games, but they're pretty good, like I said. So I'm just going to go through them uh, individually say a couple things about a few of them uh, in alphabetical order. So here we go. First up, Battle Clash. I just got this. I haven't played any of it at all, really. I've just seen a little bit of it. Not much to say about that. Uh, Contra 3. This one is a pretty good one. It reminds me a lot of the other Contras in the past. And uh, it's a lot of fun with two people. I played this a little bit at my friend's house, and uh, we had a good bit of fun of it with it. Of course, it doesn't have the 30 lives code like the first one did, neither does the second, but uh, it's still a good bit of fun. Though, I find the Contra games a little bit difficult, that's just me. Uh, then, Donkey Kong Country. This is actually the first Super Nintendo game I got, and uh, I have lots of fond memories of this. I've played through the whole thing a couple times, and uh, I really enjoy this game. It's a very solid game. I also have Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy Kong's Quest, and uh, this is a pretty fun one too. Uh, this one, of course, has a little bit better two-player, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a good bit of fun. It's uh, about as good as the first one, maybe even a little bit better. I still enjoy the first one a little bit more, probably, but uh, yeah, this is a really good one. And then I also have Donkey Kong Country 3, and of course, this was released much later for Super Nintendo. And, uh, you know, it's a lot like the other ones, except there's a little more features to it. Then I have Final Fantasy 2, the one that's actually Final Fantasy 4. If you don't know all about that, go look it up somewhere else. Uh, of course, most people know this is a really good game. They just released sort of a sequel to it, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, Final Fantasy 4, the After Years, for WiiWare. And then they also have remade it countless times on Game Boy Advance, uh, PS1, and DS. I'm not sure about like PSP or anything. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's one of the best in the series, probably. Then I have Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. This one I haven't gotten very far into. And this isn't one of the more popular in the Final Fantasy series, because it is sort of a branch off, like uh, Crystal Chronicles and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I haven't gotten very far in this one, but it's definitely very Final Fantasy-esque. Then we have uh, Gradius or Gradius 3. Uh, I haven't played much of this one at all. Uh, I just picked up the first one on NES, and I liked it a little bit, so I picked this one up. I haven't played it. Illusion of Gaia. This is a pretty good uh, Enix RPG. Uh, the graphics remind me a lot of Chrono Trigger, which is also for Super Nintendo, and uh, slightly of Golden Sun, actually. I guess that's just the general, uh, the way that the camera is and the way the characters look. Those are the two games that really reminds me of. And it's a really good RPG game. There's a lot of story in it, if you like uh, games that are story-oriented, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty solid game, if you're an RPG fan. Killer Instinct. This is a really good game. Uh, it's a really good fighting game. This one uh, I got for only a dollar. And uh, I had a lot of trouble making it work, but I finally got it to work, and I'm happy I did. Because I've actually had two copies of this. The first one I got for free, and it didn't work either. And then they had a couple copies at Play and Trade, but they were like $20 a piece. So I was like, nah, I'll just wait. And then I finally got this for a dollar. And uh, me and my friend played it a little while. It's actually a lot of fun. There's quite a few characters to choose from. They all have pretty cool specials. It's a good fighting game. Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is an excellent Super Nintendo game. It's probably one of the better ones. And I just recently added this, and I was feeling that it was very lacking until I had this game. Uh, now, I've become, just in recent time, actually, a big fan of the Zelda games. Since this little spur of, you know, retro gaming has hit me. And I, I really uh, love this game. I've seen so much gameplay of it that I feel like I've already played through it about 50 times. 
But uh, yeah, I really look forward to playing this more. I just recently picked this up. And I also got the map with it. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to bother turning the camera and messing up the whole rest of the video. Uh, but yeah, I also got the map with it, which was, which was pretty cool. Uh, I don't have any Super Nintendo games in the boxes, by the way, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Uh, Mario Paint. This one's a fun little quirky game to mess around with. Uh, people do like music from all types of genres in their little music composer in this. And you can just have a lot of fun with this. I haven't messed around with it near as much as most people probably have because I have so many other games that I actually want to get into some solid gameplay. But it, it's a pretty fun Super Nintendo game if you just want to mess around for a while. Mega Man X. I like the Mega Man X series quite a bit, and of course this one started it all out. There's a... Th I believe there's three on the Super Nintendo, and then the other ones are on PlayStation up to six, and then seven and eight are on PS2. Uh, and I also have five and six on PS1 of this, so uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and finish up getting all these in the X series. Mortal Kombat 2, you know, it's Mortal Kombat, obviously a good fighting game. I haven't played this much at all. I've played uh, the original Mortal Kombat a whole lot on Genesis, but this one I haven't played very much. I kind of prefer Killer Instinct over Mortal Kombat, believe it or not. Sim City, I haven't played this copy of it in particular. In fact, I didn't even know it was on Super Nintendo until I saw this. Uh, but I used to play it on my computer all of the time, so I know I like it. It's pretty good. Star Fox. This is a really good game, and there's a lot of knockoffs of this game, actually, if you've seen them. Uh, I mean, there's not much to say about Star Fox. It's really good. You know, Star Fox 64 is a little bit better, but this is the one that started it all off, and it's still a really good game. So definitely pick that up if you have a Super Nintendo. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I have not played much of this at all. I got it for like $2 or something. I don't know. Uh, it just looked kind of interesting, but I haven't really played it. Super Mario World, who hasn't played this game? This is one of the more uh, of my favorite uh, Mario titles. I like this one probably the best. Uh, I, I've spent a lot of time on this from when I've had my Super Nintendo. And I used to have this when I was a little kid, so I have a lot of memories of it. That was the only system I really had as a little kid was the Super Nintendo, by the way. And I got rid of it, I don't even know what really happened to it. Uh, Super Metroid, this is my favorite in the Metroid series, which I'm starting to become a little bit of a fan of. And, uh, yeah, it's a really fun game. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. It's just great. I love it. And, uh, Super NES Super Scope 6. I have not played this because you need the light gun, which I don't have. But it was a couple bucks at a pawn shop or something. So I figured I might as well go ahead and pick it up, not really knowing what it was. So I'll get, I'll get the light gun and I'll get around to playing this at some time. So that is all my Super Nintendo games. I buy more quite a bit, although I most of these games I bought at the same time for really cheap, so that's why I decided to go ahead and make this video. But uh, a couple more will be up next, probably N64 or Sega Genesis, I'm not sure. Probably Sega Genesis. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.